All right, third time is the charm, apparently, on this katana. Um, my last video cut out, so I'm going to go ahead and upload that because I did make the points that I wanted to make about what I like and don't like. But I also figured that a, a good thing to cover in addition would be how to set up a um, basically a, a, a tone that you want. So right now um, I have it, uh, the gain at 12 o'clock. Let's start over here. The gain at 12 o'clock. Volume is just the volume for the sake of you just making sure it's not too loud. Um, bass, middle, and treble are at 12 o'clock as well. All of the effects, booster, delay, reverb, all that good stuff is off right now. Um, and then the presence is at 12 o'clock as well. I'm using a low wattage setting because I don't want it to be crazy in here. And then I've got it set on the modern voicing and the, again, line out, whatever. So the first thing that I do when I um, set up a tone is I try to figure out like, what am I looking for? Um, let's set up a gain tone. So let's go, we've got crunch. Okay, that's kind of weak. Lead. Okay, a little bit more. Brown. So brown is just a, a nice, um, not not a mellower uh, lead tone, but it's just definitely, it has more of a, a vibe to it. Um, so let's just take the lead tone. And we can mess around with the gain. Alright, so let's let's just go with that. Bass. It's kind of flubby if you get past about two o'clock, so let's keep it around two. Let's dial the mids back. Let's go let's go for a scooped um, distorted sound. So what I'm gonna do with my EQ for bass, I'm at about two o'clock. For middle, I'm at about eleven o'clock, and for treble, I'm at about two o'clock. So um, this wonderful amplifier does not have numbers like a Marshall does to tell you what actual number I'm at. Um, now we can start to get into fun stuff. So if I turn this knob here to the left, the booster mod, ooh, it got really angry really quick. There's a lot of gain on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the gain off to about 12 o'clock and then we'll turn the booster on. Um, so... So I can cycle through a few different ones. That sounds... That sounds kind of tube screamery. Now, I'm on the lead channel, but if I switch over to brown... There's a little bit of a difference there. Let's stay on the lead. Um, what else do we have? Alright, so let's... Yikes. Let's go with that green sound, the, what is probably uh, an OD type pedal. For effects, uh, we've got a few options here. That's like an auto wah. What else do we have? Hey, you're winner, eat your heart out. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, the good old tremolo. Let's uh, switch over to delay. We've got a couple of different options there. Uh, what else? So anyway, you get the picture of what you can do with the delays. You can also tap your tempo here, that little flashing thing. Reverb, we've got three. We've got spring plate hall, I think is what it defaults to. So, probably spring. Um, Reverbs can get pretty intense on this. So you get the 
idea. I usually keep the reverb at about 12 o'clock, and then presents can just clean up what need to. So let's put that at about 2. So if I want that to be a lead, I can leave the delay and the reverb on. If I want to kill that stuff, I can just basically turn that off turn that off, now I have no delay and I have no reverb. Um, and then for comparison purposes, if I flip them back on, uh, there-ish. So that's what we came up with. Now if I go over to what my preset would be for um, my lead sound, that would be this. So, big difference when you start to add that 10 band EQ. Again, what we just came up with. Let's get some volume parity there. So the difference with that is that you can really sort of get in and sort of master, make it like an album mastered type sound with the extra EQ. Um, you can also access the effects to a much deeper level. Um, when you engage an effect here, you have one knob that gives you a function. Um, that knob might be intensity, it might be speed, it might be level, it might be feedback, it might be whatever. But you can get in there and usually you have four or five parameters to fiddle around with for each of those effects. Um, you know, you can, for like, you know, Univibe, for example, you can uh, mess with the depth and the rate, same thing with chorus. Um, you know, you can have your feedback on your chorus, your mix between your wet, dry sound, things like that, that you can't do on the board. Um, so that's the only disadvantage here. But again, great amp, and if you're going with presets, then take the time to make the preset but then just program it in there. And if you want to have more than eight presets, more than two banks of four, you can certainly do that. Just save them to your computer and then you have however many presets you want. Um, you can also load presets on here that you get from other people. You know, they're, they're just files that you can, you can sort of access through the, uh, through the, the, the desktop program. So um, is it worth it to have the artist versus the non-artist. Um, it's got a better speaker, it has a few more uh, bells and whistles. For me, does it make a huge difference? Um, not really. I, I thought that maybe I'd use more of the connections on the back or that I'd, I, I'd really get into it a little bit more, um, but I, I haven't done that yet. When I start recording again, um, potentially I will, but uh, all in all at this point, it does exactly what I need it to do, and, and again, it's my go-to. It's my sort of my number one, my uh, main amp. Um, so I'll talk about my other amps. I'll talk about my effects pedals, my board that I just finished building, the other guitars, um, stuff along the way that I've sort of learned in terms of configuring or tweaking or adjusting or, or any other thing. Um, so yeah, we'll get into that in future episodes, but for now, that's the uh, boss, and that's how to set up a... Um, just, you know, setting up a tone, basically, and how you go at it, and uh, enjoy. If you have a boss, enjoy your boss, and if you don't, then uh, go buy one, because they're pretty decent. So, later.